the promise of PGD was that we could find the perfect embryo among an array of embryos that when looking at them, you couldn't see the difference. The more common form of, um, of pre-implantation uh, genetic diagnosis uh, performed today uh, is to test for uh, so-called um, aneuploidies, um, times where uh, the number of chromosomes that are in the embryo are uh, not expected to be able to lead uh, to a normal baby. Um, aneuploidies are very common. We're all familiar that they occur more, more frequently as when we get older. The most common one is trisomy 21, which some people used to call Down syndrome. But in fact, um, what trisomy means is that instead of having a double dose of chromosomes, which is what you're supposed to do, you end up with a triple dose. So anytime the count of the chromosomes is improper, either three or only one, um, it's abnormal. Three would be a trisomy, one would be a monosomy. When, um, when people are screening embryos today, they're using very sophistic sophisticated techniques uh, that give them a very accurate uh, diagnosis of the chromosomal counts in the cells that have been biopsied. Uh, the shortcoming that, that we see in this is that embryos are not all uniform in their um, distribution of chromosomes. Um, different cells in an embryo may have different chromosomal counts. And when uh, the biopsies are done on the embryo, um, they may be sampling a part of the embryo that's not likely to actually represent the part that's going to become the baby. And on that basis, they're throwing these, these embryos away.